The alumni are back in town in Carbondale, and the tailgate scene is hopping. It's a hot afternoon for college football here on the Missouri Valley Football Game of the Week as we're here at Saluki Stadium for homecoming as the SIU Salukis host the number two North Dakota State Bison. Other than really opening things up, relying on what few route combinations, few plays are their bread and butter, and then go from there. Not an easy test against these Bison as we'll start off with Saluki football. Follow the kill changing things up from the sideline. Jerry and Parker the back behind him, and it is a little screen pass to Parker. Some good blocking set up out there, and they convert the first down. A bunch play on third and long. It's quick because they have to be leery of the screen behind them. Ball back in Curry's hands. A flag came out around the line of scrimmage on the outside. So we'll... Luki wide receivers, Nishan has a kayak, Keontes Lewis, two of the best receivers in the conference. Big, speedy guys on the outside. Looks like a Bison lined up in the neutral zone. They are not afraid to put the ball in Curry's hands so far. A little toss out to Parker, finding the edge. And it's keeping it going. Guys moving and trying to get them thinking. Salukis so look like they're about to give that free yardage back, though. Played. Chase Evans is making the start today at center, but that's something to keep an eye on because he has a bad ankle. But that hurry back in, back in an empty set. Nice pocket for him, and he with some room to throw, but the ball comes out late. The ball comes out late, and it looked like the Bison got on top of it. And they do. And SIU has not turned the ball over a lot this year, just five turnovers. That's one area they have been really good. So, again, got off to a pretty good start, moving the ball down the field, eating up some clock. But you can't have mistakes like this and just a great job knocking that ball loose. Play action. All kinds of time and wide open. He finds Carson Williams. That's Joe Stoffel out. Wide open. Brown right up the gut. A shoestring tackle. Saving a touchdown, Jameer Cohn. But the Bison off the turnover into the eye set. It's Pinu. He bounces it outside, cuts back, and a touchdown. First carry of the game for Pinu. And the Bison with the early lead. See, they do a good job just caving down that whole right side. Rosa hasn't missed an extra point yet this year. One of the most accurate and consistent Running out of time on third and six. Curry able to get a couple. Maybe back to the line of scrimmage. And that pro Second and 10, you know they're probably not gonna throw the ball again, so he can creep down. Made that good tackle for loss. Cam Miller pumps and can't connect deep down the sideline. Well, the Salukis hold strong. Still second and long. Curry with a good pocket and able to escape. He takes a couple of shots, but buys the first down with it. And that's a situation where Coach Nick Hill's probably care of that and not creep up and hold the box. And, yep, and then uh, jump on those short routes. Lewis on the jet sweep and Lewis out to the sideline before being let out on a gain of 15. Besides the message, have fun out there. Facing a third and long, running out of time, trying to escape the pressure, and he can't. Eli Mostart got there right up the gut. Eli Mostart is basically bailing out. Brown will take it up the middle. He's met short initially, but then the pile moves forward for the Bison. 
just a workhorse. Marty Brown, Coach Polisek calls him a thoroughbred. He gets better. To any type of offense is by getting penetration defensively, and that's what he did. And he got in the pocket and flushed Miller out there, but Miller able to buy time and complete. He finds Penny. They're spreading him out wide. And it is the quarterback draw. You've got to bring down the big body in space. Able to rally a bunch of Salukis there. And he got nearly back to the original. This many yards on this North Dakota State defense. Got a chance. The screen out of the backfield to Middleton. He's got some speed and he's got the first down. And barely able to catch him from behind and force him out. Curry back out there with Parker. Play action, look, there's space. He has Davis inside the 40 and a big hitter layer. A critical second down run though sets up the third and four. And again, it's Hartson and he is stuffed. Eli Mostart once again going to attempt a 50-yard field goal here. Elon. That one has got the distance. It is good with some distance to spare. And the Salukis are on the board. Great pocket for Miller. As he goes to the outside to Truman Wehrmeyer is fullback. And that's what's so impressive about Cam Miller is the way you can just see him going through all his progressions. Had a receiver running that deep dig that really should have completed that ball. Cole Payton in there running the read game with Penu. He doesn't have much, but he's got enough. What? Miller. Handing off to Penu, off tackle into open space and led out of bounds after a big gain. Iverson Brown forcing him out. Big split back set with fullback Wehrmeyer. Miller can't get it to him. He tries to get it himself and pretty good coverage down the field, and that's really helped those safeties be able to help in the run game and then also that that last sack was partly a cover sack as well. Miller getting rid of it quickly finds Bryce Lance on a quick hitting route for the cross the field there. He's staying on the field though. First and goal late in this first half. Over the middle, the touchdown to Chris Harris. And the Bison stretch out their lead. Cam Miller was impressive on those last two throws, but watch him look to his left right there to kind of get that safety to move just a little bit. And now, touchdown. Second touchdown of Chris Harris's career. Quick hitter to Middleton. They've got a three on two on the outside. He's able to get out of bounds though. After a nice game. Play of the first half, barring a penalty. Rushing a bunch. Curry forced to get rid of that one quickly in the direction of Lewis and not able to connect. There is a bison. A possession was between both teams, an area that North Dakota State normally dominates. Bison get the ball first here in the second half. Williams, a nice return out past the 30 yards. A huge amount of carries, too. Yeah, they want to get him at least 20 touches today. Bryce Lance on the hitch route past midfield. He's not easy to bring down at the second level there either. 6 3 to go. Miller against a three man rush, flushed out of the pocket. Completes to Collins. That is right at the sticks and just short of it. So a fourth and one at the Brown met behind the line initially and can't get away. Swarmed down 
Lewis Milbert and a host of Salukis meet him up. Perimeter. Looks like Lewis down here might be single cover. In and out of the hands of Middleton. He was going to be five yards short of the first down anyway. He carries another maybe 10 and then somebody else getting a few touches here and there. A second down pass by Miller. He finds Harris. Harris crossing the field and has a first down across midfield. And there's the yards after Tempo here. That was Penu's sixth carry. Miller behind his big offensive line on the sneak. Easily converts that third and short. Got about three. That's a lot of yards. Pretty easy to make behind this big offensive line. All kinds of time. A flag came out. Back behind the play, that pass was thrown behind Bray Licks. I come into this game with 235 straight passes without an interception. But the defensive penalty, five. Runs the read option with Brown. Met behind the line, dragged him for a couple, but this will set up fourth and about three. All time for the Bison. By the end of the year in career points, the very reliable kicker is reliable there. Still a two-possession game, but the Bison cash in, stretch it out to 17-3. to three. We'll take a break before the Salukis come back. And Those rushers get up the field. He's got a guy. Oh, oh. He had Lewis as well. You're right. There was wide open. There was a streaking. I think that was Bradley Clark down on those little timing routes. Three of seven on third down. Ending off to Parker. He's got space. He's got the first down into Bison territory. Training staff. Will Trail Hartson in at running back, and he runs the reverse to Lewis. Lewis has got all kinds of green. One man to beat, and able to knock him out and make the play. That is Jalen Crumby. Crumby was able to tell. Good time for Curry. Going to the corner of the end zone, thrown well out of bounds. Here's a flag. Very late. That ball was very, very out of bounds. I mean, that's really a break for SIU because that, there was no way that was going to be a catchable ball. Oh, and that's what they're Passing saying is, was the Defense. ball uncatchable. Number 24, 15 yards from the previous spot. Automatic first down. That ball. Here at the end of the third quarter, Parker met behind the line, dances away from it, loses more. A nice job initially of Jerry and Parker staying on his feet. Second down. Hurry. Reverse this time to Davis, and he has got four bison in his face, but he's coming back the other way. Managed to get back near the original. Special, but uh, him not being a, a true quarterback, I, I don't think he uh, believed it. There was no time for Curry. A couple of big losses in a row forced to send Geelan out there for his second attempt of the day. And he misses it wide left. Plenty of leg. Alleviating the big explosive plays over the top. Miller had his arm hit as he threw. Simplified the playbook, but uh, that screen is yeah. sniffed out. A great play, knocking that ball away. But I, I like the fearlessness that Curry is playing with. What's the nickname? I, I, I'm trying to remember. As soon as I said it, I knew I had to remember. But because he's done a lot of good things down there in Dallas, he had a touchdown the other week. I, I like the contrast, though, that we've seen between Marty Brown. You know, the uh, Dak Prescott's calling Lipke now. He used to call him Little Mike Allstott. So, <laughs> scoring some touchdowns and making some nice blocks. He had to upgrade the respect factor. Lance coming back to that football on the back shoulder throw. More linebacker. Sets up the third and five. Miller has time and finds Marshall out of the backfield. 
and a chunk play on third down. And TK. Over the middle, he's got Lance. Talked about finding that little gap in the zone, and that was back into that big eye set. Brown has room out to the left side to the goal line touchdown. Marty Brown in for his first score of the game. And Brown, he has that, that power running, but he also has great acceleration, and we saw it there just a little bit of hesitation. And then he just turns it on here. A great job by, by that offensive line, sealing the edge. Jeremiah Baxter, he's the was the cornerback there on the outside who fought through his block at the goal line. And you're right, they've been able to move the ball and get to the red zone, but just not be able to punch it in for touchdown. 24 times this year coming into this game with the interception. And an overthrow by Curry results in the pick so he's had a couple of those today we've seen these a few times as he's rolled out he's just been unable to find the touch on the ball as he's rolled out and bison finally strike for interception basically right into the numbers of givens yeah just an, another throw just miscommunication his first start did some good things yeah moved the ball some what did you see out of him today well I, I thought you know like Kelly talked about in the open I mean the kids got some moxie to him right got some swag and plays hard got a strong when your leading rusher for the Salukis is DJ Williams who hasn't played in three weeks that's a problem you wonder yeah. if the the quarterback run game being taken off the table and that's a, always a big part of this offense in this system you don't necessarily want it to be the but, you know i think that i think they'll come and learn from that and, and you probably will maybe see a little bit more qb run in future weeks when you have michael lindauer who was he he's on staff as a defense out of carbondale with a win even though it wasn't pretty at times yeah the salukis gave him a challenge today that saluki yeah. defense in particular made plenty of plays and and stood tough as Penu gains a couple on what should be the last play of the game. But you have to give it a lot of credit to the Bison defense who really stepped up again today, coming off a great outing last week. And to hold SIU to, to three points brought a, a lot of pressure between TFLs and sacks on Jake Curry making his first start. And that brings us to the end of the game, the final score. Cam Miller and his Bison come into town here in Carbondale and come away with the 24-3 win over the Salukis. And they will set up for that number one versus number two matchup next week against South Dakota State in the Dakota Marker game.